Y'all are clocking me on my fit today. 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 Okay. All right. I guess, you know, we could change it up. I could do like one of the. Do a pop or. Fuck. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. Fuck. Still straight. Okay. Um. I could. Drop it. Okay. I'll try. I'll try. I'll give it a shot. Okay. Oh! Okay! Uh, okay! I'm just trying to get right! Chat! Before the night falls! Are we live? I'm just trying to get right! We are! Get ready! I'm just Let's trying go. to get right! Ladies and gentle bitches, bros, and non-binary hoes, dude. Ha <laughs> ha! Guess what time it is, fuckers? It's brat time. Dude, I have been so excited for this album. It's the first album that I feel like I'm actually in my reaction bag with when it comes to Charlie, because I've heard the older stuff. I listened to Crash, and it was a great project. She literally is looking at Camp right, right in the, in the eye. eye and saying, oh, you want me to be a pop star? I'll be a pop star. And I feel like with the way that these singles have been going, Brat, this ugly ass green album. I'm sorry. This green has haunted me, bro. I'm a green lover. My phone case is green. My wife's eyes are green, but she picked this one. And you know what? I feel like I already know because it's Charlie, it's on purpose. With this simple ass Times New Roman ass font, she's making a statement. What is going to be Brat? I've heard 360. I've heard Von Dutch. I haven't heard the other single. B2B, and then the rest of the album is a complete mystery. Weed and Brat. I got tagged in this too many times. Too many times. 15 songs, 41 minutes and 30 seconds, produced by primarily A.G. Cook, as well as a few others I see in here. Gat... That's a fucking wild one, dude. Finn Keen, Sympathy for Night... Okay, yeah, see? A couple of them on here. And Charlie, as well as producer. But all right. It's time to get bratty. The first track, 360. Favorite reference? Tectonic. Artists shout out the people that are like making the song with them. Represent your person, bro. And you hear the little jump as she says, you go jump. And the reverb goes out on that jump. And then you hear a reverse clap back into the beat. You go jump if fate you made it. Oh, it's so good. Like an icon. Yes. Work, angles. work those cankles, baby. I'm sorry. I know. I know it's work angles, but I just keep hearing work cankles. You work those fucking cankles, girl. Yes. 360. When you're in the mirror, do you like what you see? When you're in the mirror, you're just looking at me. I'm everywhere, I'm so Julia. Uh, 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 uh. Yes, dude. Starting off the album with probably the biggest single. Classic move. Good shit. She still has so much of this energy where it's like, oh, the singles, they have to bang. But it also let me make like a good album. I don't know yet. I'm going in a little hot, but whew, I don't know how else to be right now. The next one, Club Classics. And can I be honest with you? I've never been to a club. I know. You'd probably think, oh, dude, you'd love it. Dancing, lights, music. You forget one thing. Ton of sweaty people. I'm good. Also, I don't get to pick the songs. I don't know, dude. Never been to a rave. God damn it, I've never even been to a festival. A music festival. I know. I'm also in a heterosexual relationship. Ah, I know. I, I know. I know. I know. Illegal this month, but hey, you know, I know. I fucking love it. You like now? 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 
Right now? When I go to the club, I wanna hit this club cassettes. Club cassettes, club, club cassettes. When I go to the club, I wanna hit this club cassettes. Club cassettes, club, club Ooh, big pad? I wanna dance with me. Oh! I wanna dance with George. I wanna dance with Sophie. I wanna dance with Hubbo. Play the track fast, not slow. Yo! What is that? I just feel like I fell into slime, dude. Yeah, I wanna dance to me, 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 me. Me. When I get to the club, 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 club. Yeah, I wanna dance to me, 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 me. When I get to the club, 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 club. Oh, dude, the wubbiness itches a little part of my brain. Oh, like I just picture like some kind of like alien from like Ben 10 or some shit. Just throwing ass, big old fat ass in the club. Oh, shit. God damn. That's a thick ass. Who produced that one? Oh, AG and George, the boys. All right, let's go into the first track that I feel like is like just from the album. Sympathy's a knife. Oh shit. <laughs> like this one? This is my homophobe knife. Oh shit, you don't like, you don't, you don't fuck with the LGBs, L LGBTQIAs? Oh, that's crazy. I suddenly have a fucking six inch knife. You wanna hold it? You said you wanted to hold it? You wanna hold it in your body? Here you go. Sympathy. What? Is there tea? I mean, I know we're, we're across the pond in, in, in the UK, but but tea? What? Why do you want to shoot yourself, Charlie? Okay, I'm putting a little bit of the pieces together, but I don't know if I want to. I actually don't give a fuck at all who she's talking about. It's just vulnerable, actually. She's really bearing it all with these lyrics. She's literally so conflicted about this girl that's just in her life now because of having a boyfriend, him being in band, and the uh, friend groups and whatnot. Friend groups are complicated. That's why me and Angela are just us, you know? <laughs> That's not true. We have friends. But being so embarrassed that she wants to shoot herself, it's just like, yeah, that is a little embarrassing, bro. Like, it's not, it's probably not even that deep, you know? Oh my God, what was that, dude? This sound design is so detailed. The way that those claps come in, they're kind of like on an arpeggiator themselves where they're like automatically going off. But the reverb intenses, the volume intenses, it's just that layered production, man. There's just so many cool little details. Wow, really turning it up with that auto-tune and the drive and the whole saturation for that. So cool, man. I appreciate the way that the vocals are mixed as well. It's just fun, dude. She knows how to fucking make fun music, even when she's talking shit about somebody. <laughs> Here we go. Into the next one. I might say something stupid. Haven't we all, Charlie? Chat participation. What's the dumbest fucking thing you've heard me say? <laughs> Great pop music is like a successful lobotomy. <laughs> Dude, 
This is like a commentary, maybe, about like how it feels to be this late in the career, you know? Might say something stupid online. I don't feel like nothing oh. special. Oh, you are. I snag my tights out on the lawn chair. <laughs> That's so British. I'm famous, but not quite. But I'm perfect <sighs> for the background, one foot in. It's a shorty, dude. It's a short, sad one. All right. Break my heart a little bit, Charlie. You are famous. You're super famous. It's kind of beautiful how Charlie XCX songs can be like club bangers with the most disgusting bass you've ever heard. Make your face scrunch up. And then on the other side, it's like KK Slider demos that like didn't make the Animal Crossing cut. That, I feel like that's beautiful, you know? <laughs> I have two wolves inside of me. Talk Talk is the next one. I'm a yapper, dude. Have you, you figured that one out yet? I've been looking at you. Me? Putting holes in your head. Okay, uh, uh. We've been talking for months. How many months? But never in the same room. Do I need this? I wish you talk, talk, wish you talk, talk, wish you talk, talk, wish you talk, talk. Oh my god! I think you're getting closer. Wow. This is literally me and my wife on a first date. She's such an introvert and I'm like, dude, you're so cool. We've been talking for months. I just open up a little bit, you know? God, that's so cute. This is like about her and George. It's like keeping their relationship a secret. Oh my God, that's... All right, straights, this one's for us. I wish you talk, talk. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Talk to me in French, talk to me in Spanish, talk to me in your own made language, doesn't matter if I understand it, shall we go back to my place, 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 place. So flirty. Wow. Okay, yeah, that's fucking incredible. That is that's what we want, baby. That's what we want. Oh, wow. That's so cute, man. And in the outro, any language? Are they bilingual? In French? In Spanish? Talk to me in your own made-up language? Is that a D&D &D reference? You want me to, 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 to talk to you sweetly in, in Elvish? And you know what's beautiful, too? A language that they haven't mentioned, but is kind of communicated through this whole thing, is music, baby. Mm, beautiful. And now, we get Von Dutch. I was listening to this when it first came out. I I think I was living that life. I'm like 50-50 on if I was living that life or not. But now, since the album's out, let's check in. Oh, okay, uh, I, yeah. You are. Dude, I f I love this song. Like your ass just will not like it'll just start. It'll just start revving up. Having a bad day. Depression getting you down. A little prescription. Here you go. Von Dutch. Pop that bad boy and watch your ass. Come on! Build it! I'm just living that life. Don't you see that shit? I just Kicked it into my mouth, dude. so nice of her to write a song solely about me being the number one music Patreon account in the world. This is what this song does to me. It gets me hype on my own shit, baby. And that's magic, bro. Like mood altering music is just a whole other 
entity. It separates the great from the fantastic, dude. Holy shit. And yes, I do like that Addison Rae <laughs> is on that remix. Von Dutch is a lot of fun, but here we go into a brand new one. Everything is romantic. Okay, I like that little motif. Okay, George. Bringing in some, bringing, bringing in some organic instruments. I, I hear you, brother. Bad tattoos on leather tan skin. Jesus Christ Ooh. on a plastic sign. Ray? Ray, is that you? Fall in love again and again. Riding roads through manual drive. Okay. Bad tattoos on leather tan skin. Ooh. Jesus Christ on a plastic sign. Fall in love again and again. Winding roads through manual oh. drive. Bad tattoos Whoa. on leather tan skin. Jesus Christ on a plastic sign. Lace curtain. Oh, Charlie in Jersey! It's a Jersey beat! Oh no, it's funk! Oh, it's Brazilian funk! Oh, dude, that's so dope! Get that break. Dude, what? What is this vision? Again and again. It is romantic. It's lovely. Oh shit! Oh, that vocoder's taken over. Oh, the fact that it's fall in love again and again, and it's, it's coming back around forever and ever and ever, that's so beautiful. Wow, that's special. Dude, bro. Fall in love with the gay, a gay. Fall in love with the gay, a gay. <laughs> yes, here we go. Here comes the LGBTs. Dude, it's just so wild to me, like, also as, like, a music person, like, yes, I target the production, but, like, wow. It's just so easy to see that, like, this music fucks. <laughs> like, it's like, now I'm starting to, like, understand where, like, the 93, like, is, is actually coming from. It's like, yeah, no, this is beautiful. Like, this is exactly what I feel like we have all been wanting from Charlie. It's that fun, it's that vulnerable, it's that real shit, but it's that sexy shit at the same time. Look at these lyrics. Lemons on the trees and on the ground. Sandals on the stirrups of the scooters. Neon orange drinks on the Beach. OMG JLo at the bodega? What? If you know, you know. Early nights in white sheets with lace curtains. Pompeii in the distance. This is just like poetry. Her writing her everyday life. It's like, mm, this is beautiful. I have to pen this right now. Yeah, that shit's so fucking good. Wow. That's incredible. Everything is romantic is, yeah, is everything, actually. <laughs> All right, next one is Rewind. Oh, shit. Are we putting it in reverse, Terry? Oh, Lord. Sometimes. Not me, bitch. Savan. Get him on the track. I'd go back in time to when I wasn't insecure to when I didn't overanalyze my face shape. Oh, wow. I only eat at the good restaurants, but honestly, oh. I'm always thinking about my weight. I used to never feel like these doubts that keep wow. running through my mind. Sometimes I really think it would be cool to rewind. Sometimes. Dude, that's so fucking Y'all did not see me 20 minutes before this fucking stream looking at my fucking stomach being like, should I do this? Am I actually gonna do this? Because I have insecurities too, bro. We all do, you know? But 
Fuck. Do you guys like it? I'm glad you guys like it. Used to burn CDs full of songs I didn't know. Used to sit. And see, that's cool, man. She's not in the key anymore for her auto tune. It's just chromatic. So it still gives that kind of like off feeling, you know? Sometimes I really think it would be cool to rewind in time. get weird yeah this one's i think this one might be my favorite so far wow <laughs> just off just fucking off like it's just off and it's just nice oh. <laughs> sometimes i just want to rewind want to turn back time oh, dude. to a different time oh rewind. Press rewind yeah yeah press rewind yeah She's in her DJ bag. Oh, oh, I love the little wiggly, bro. Oh, man. I wish I could, like, put myself in an MRI right now and just see my brain waves go crazy when I, all the, like, cool production stuff happens. Because this is, like, truly the shit I do not have words for. I don't have them. It's just, it's just so creative and so wacky and fun. And it subverts the best expectations when it comes to this kind of, like, pop music. She's just one of those artists, man. Nobody does the shit like she does it. You could try. I f have a sneaky suspicion we're gonna see in the next few months. She just has that kind of aura, you know? All right, next track. So I. Oh. Always on my mind. Every day, every night, you stop and so bright. Oh shit. Once say that I love singing these songs you left behind. Oh. And I know you always said it's okay to cry. So I know I can cry, I can cry, so I cry. Forever, man. Oh. <laughs> you made this ugly ass green album make me cry, bitch. Oh, man. Songs you left behind. Oh, that's cruel. Can we get some love for Sophie in the chat, please? Oh, in case you don't know who Sophie is, oh, incredible uh, icon in the electro pop scene from years ago. Transgender as well. She just was such a pioneer. Clearly, she was a mentor in so many ways to uh, Charlie. You know what's so wild to hear, man, and to kind of like draw a line between is that like, we get to see Charlie on this album at clearly two separate points of her life, you know? In the beginning, talking about sympathy is a knife, she's talking about, you know, her perception of another artist and how it bothers her but at the same time you know we see charlie clearly showing love to other you know mentors and artists in her life that she has appreciation towards and i wonder if she might ever be in the situation where she is going to be able to like get over those feelings maybe
maybe one day become a mentor to somebody else. I mean, I know she's already kind of mentoring Addison a little bit, which is exciting, but yeah, just a lot of duality between these two songs. Oh, fuck. I'm good, right? I'm good. I put the shades back on. I dry my tears just like that. <laughs> I'm fine, bro. All right, girl, so confusing. Girl, it's so confusing sometimes to be a girl. Girl, girl, girl. girl. Yeah. Girl, ooh, those vocals. I'm not, but I will try to relate. I definitely think it's fun to kind of talk about, you know, oh, who might this be? But it doesn't like matter in in the big end of it all for me, you know? Hear the first chorus kind of open up with it's confusing to be a girl. And I hear her kind of vent a little bit about, you know, clearly somebody that might be in her life right now that she just, like, she just doesn't know. Like people say we should get along. I get the feeling you don't like me. Like that's just a part of like being an it girl. <laughs> Writing poems, but I'm about throwing parties, think you should- You're about writing poems. Oh my goodness. It's highlighted on Genius. Oh, who's this? Who's Mary- Mary Arena? Who's Marina? It's like, even when I look, it's like, I have no fucking idea who that is. <laughs> Don't come in here and start saying, oh yeah, you're straight. Hey, 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 hey. I know that. It's so confusing sometimes to be a girl. So aggressively digital. I love it. All right, next song, Apple. Oh, am I a fruit? Am, am I the apple? Dude, I love the little melody in here. Do, 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 Kinda sounds a little 1975. I like it though. I can see a book turn yellow or green. No, there's lots of different nuances to you and to me. Oh wow. I wanna grow the pen. Apple, keep all the seeds, but I can't help it be so angry. You don't listen to me to the airport. The airport. I feel like that's her hyping herself up to go to the airport. Like nobody is ever excited to go to the airport. So she's just driving. The airport. The airport. How far is that airport if you have to drive that far? Dude, she's, I love how much she's talking about the different ways that her relationship can be like different kinds of apples. Like, I think the apples rotten to the core from all the things passed down. Generational trauma from all the apples coming before. Wow. Dude, that's very introspective. I love that. Asking a question to supposedly this person that she's been looking at the whole time, trying to find an answer about herself in them. Where do you go when you? Wow, love the repeated vocal. Such a cool song, Apple, about your family, maybe making your own family, maybe about the trauma that your family has caused you. Wow, okay, Charlie, I like that one. All right, okay. I gotta go back through here and like actually like add all my likes and stuff. But dude, I, I don't think there's been a miss. I don't think there's been a miss. All right, next tune, B2B. Oh. We're back in the club. We're getting gritty. Now 
now we're going back. Now we're actually going back. In time? Whoa! Ooh! Oh, this is the most clubby one yet, and I love it. What the fuck? Dude, that syncopation is fucking insane, dude. Every single bass that is used in this album has like so many little fluctuations in it. Like it's got a filter on it. It's got a little wobbly thing to it. It's the same bass pretty much the entire song, but the way that they mold those things, interior production inside of the waveform, not exterior adding more and more things. It's the changing of existing elements. That's what makes this music so fascinating to listen to. It's like, wow, they really have control over this environment. That's powerful. Oh. All right, next one, Mean Girls. Yeah, it's 2 a.m. and she's out there in a sheer white dress wearing last night's makeup all coquettish in the pictures with the flash on. Worships Lana Del Rey in her AirPods, yeah. I'm sorry? The Mean Girls are listening to Lana Del Rey? When did this happen? I need to know though, chat. The worst person that you know. What music do they listen to? I can't say that in this chat. Oh, maybe not this chat. This one's for all my Mean Girls. This one's for all my Whoa. bad girls. Wait. This one's for all my break your boyfriend's hot girls. For all my terror shit apart girls. This one's for all my mean girls. This one's for all my bad girls. This okay, so this is like an homage to the mean girl. Okay. It's 4 a.m. and she's out there. A little with percussion. With a sharp tongue stuck to skinny cigarettes. Calls and daddy while she's fingering a gold cross. And she's kind of fucked up, but she's still in vogue. Yeah, she's in her mid-twenties, real intelligent. She already knows that you're obsessed. Whoa! Oh, fuck. Oh, yo! Wow! And she's just gonna keep the piano. That's insane. We accept everybody! You know? The baddies! The meanies! We love you! Wow. Oh, thank God I fucking carbo loaded before this. Somebody on Twitter was even just like, dude, I can't wait to see you burn 5,000 calories during this stream. <laughs> oh, he was right. I like the perspective that Charlie's taking because she's not like taking like the side of the mean girl or whatever. She's just like, yes, this girl exists and they have dudes who talk shit about them and who are obsessed with them for no good reason. Yeah, just kind of interesting. One's for all the mean girls. All right, where are we? I think about it all the time. I think about it all the time. Okay, I hope I don't cry again. Whoa. I think about it all the time That I might run out of time But I finally met my baby And a baby might be mine oh. Cause maybe one day I might If I don't run out of time Would it give my life a new purpose? I was walking around oh, in Stockholm What a joy, oh my, oh my Standing there, same old clothes she wore before Holding her child, yeah She's a radiant mother and he's a beautiful father And now they both know these things that I don't I think about wow. it all the time That I might run out of time But I wow. finally met my baby And a baby might be mine Cause maybe one day I might If I don't run out of time Will it give my life a new purpose? I think about it 
Oh, dude, I love the vocals right there. That little repetition. It's almost like it's sticking that idea that she's talking about. It's like kind of sticking in the back of her mind. And it changes. Oh. God, she's good. We had a conversation on the way home. Should I start my birth control? Because my career feels so small in the existential scheme of it all. Time. Oh man, oh dude. Wow, dude, short and sweet though. I love these little tunes from her. A little introspectiveness, a little bit of the, hey, you know, I had this real thing in my life happen where, where a person that I met has a child now and has a full life. That's so real, dude. God damn it, I think about it all the time too, Charlie. Wow, dude. All right, we have reached the end of the album. 365. I'm ready. Wait, wait, is this just 360? When I'm in the club, yeah, I'm moving When I'm at the house, yeah, I'm moving that. 365 party girl. Should we do a little key? Should we have a little line? Wanna go real wild when I'm moving that? Meet me in the bathroom. Excuse me? 365 party girl. Who the fuck are you? I'm a brat when I'm bumping that. Oh! I'm a brat. 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 I'm
if you're locking eyes in the club with somebody, it's impossible to not like kind of seduce them a little bit. I have not. No, I have not. Wow, dude. Oh my god, the kick. It, it felt very empty in the in the front half without that low end, and this is just this is magical towards the back. Oh, yeah, dude. Feels euphoric. I love that reverb. It's so luscious. And the delay too, just kind of giving you this like huge spacey, like dance EDM energy vibe. I, I like it. I can see why maybe it, 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 it was left off the album. I don't even really know what the song is about. I mean, it, it kind of just feels like you're strolling through a, a euphoric experience while you're just kind of like tripping a little bit, you know? But all right, the next one is called Guess. Oh yeah. Oh, we're moaning. You wanna guess the color of my underwear You wanna know what I got going on down there What? Is it pretty in pink or all see-through? Is it Charlie. showing off my brand new lower back tattoo? You wanna put them in your mouth, pull them all down south You oh. wanna turn this shit out, that's what I'm talking about Turn it out, Charlie! Pull it to the side is... Stop giving away the good moves, bro. <laughs> Send him to the day, yeah, I think he's worth it. Oh, that is slutty ass production. I'm sorry. The dare. How dare you? Uh, so cute with the little synth kind of in between that pre-chorus with Charlie too, because it's he's almost doing just like boom, bing, boom. He's like almost like he's like flirting with the little. It's like he's stop being freaky. I'm sorry. It is not my fault if y'all can't match my freak, bro. Yes. Oh. I guess if I'm serious about this song. Oh, Charlie. Okay, wow. She has a line in here that says, send him to the dare. Yeah, I think he's with it. I love it. Charlie shouts out the producers. I love that, dude. Thank you. She's a real one, man. This one should have honestly been on the album. Happy that it's here, but wow, that's a fantastic song. Okay, next and last one, Spring Breakers. Hi, it's me, you're all in danger. Never get invited because I'm such a hater. Got my finger on the detonator. Crazy girl shit, gonna go Spring Breakers. Oh! <gasps> Every time I make it so Wait, was that a half second of pure bliss? <gasps> Every time I make it so <laughs> What the fuck? Gonna go Spring Breakers. Ooh. Oh, keys. And that vocal loop is so weird. What is that vocal loop? It was in the beginning in the intro too. Vroom, 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 vroom in a big pink truck. <laughs> Every 10th and I'm gonna pull up. Hey, Staples Center, what the fuck is up? Get a cigarette, took a drag, and I just flicked it. Place went boom, 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 clap. And I just laugh when the body's... Boom, 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 clap. <sighs> This being the now canonical ending to Brat is still just as iconic as the ending to the Brat in the first place because we're still getting references from back in her discography with boom clap, dude. Wow. Oh my god, I can't. What is that? On the flip side, I could talk real, real nice. Maybe if you give me that prize, you might see a tip from my eye. Might change my whole damn life. Are you 
you're finding these synths, dude. Jack Antonoff is like searching his entire fucking life for these types of synths. <laughs> and AG Cook is just like, I don't know. Crazy girl shit, gonna go spring breakers. Gonna, 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 gonna go spring breakers. Gonna, 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 gonna go spring breakers. Let me just tell you, man, the feeling of listening to Charlie XCX now that like Brat is full in effect, I've been playing it throughout my home as we all listen to albums over and over again. And I gotta say, dude, she's just kind of doing it different, man. She strives so hard to be the kind of artist that cares about the production, that cares about the scene that she has her music resonate with. Even the fact that like this project is called Brat, it's the same, but there's three more songs, so it's not. Like, it's just like, this is the energy. Hey, here's my music. Love it, hate it, I don't really give a fuck. The people who love it, we're gonna have a good time. I'm probably glazing, I'm probably glazing. I know, I know, I know. But God damn it, Charlie. <laughs> so good. I think it might be my album of the year. Today, we are gonna open up with some more Brat Summer, a brand new official remix of Girl So Confusing with... The Lord? Oh! <laughs> Coming all the way over from New Zealand. I remember listening to this album for the first time and people speculating, oh, who could this be about? Would it be crazy if, if she actually had them on as a feature? And apparently that is the narrative that we are going with. So this is super exciting. It's so confusing sometimes to be a girl. It is. Yeah, come on girls. Tell me. They're riding together because Charlie rides because Charlie loves cars. Oh my God. That was perfect. I'm like literally tearing up, bro. Because like genuinely the whole point of like this song was to be from Charlie's perspective. Being in her head thinking like it's so confusing. I really don't. I just don't know. And it's just insecurity, you know? It's just some kind of like thing that you can't shake about yourself. But then we get the verse from Lord and she's like, I've been going through shit, dude. Oh my God. I never thought that I'd be the one in your head making you doubt yourself. Never. And the fact they come together and they even say it on the beat to squash it on the remake. Wow. God, that was so good. I can see Fantano shaking out. And that's gonna be a wrap. Thank you so much if you made it all the way through the stream. This has been a blast. Love hanging with you guys. Love jamming out to some real music, baby. I mean, dude, this was great. I don't even think I have any notes. I will be writing a review on AOTY, so follow me on there, as well as my other social media. And yeah, whew, heart rate at about uh, 250. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go lay down and process, but as always, you, you, you stay happy, healthy, and strong, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.